The Roman Empire had swallowed up the Mediterranean and had already nibbled at the North Sea. Gorged with wealth, satiated with glory, this monster eventually dozed off. The network of Roman roads and monuments remained, of course. Aqueducts, temples, arenas, triumphal arches. But there were 22 emperors within less than 50 years. Constantine converted to Christianity, giving that religion its first real boost. The 30,000 Christians in Rome were no longer persecuted. The emperor chose Byzantium as his capital and gave it a new name, Constantinople. The city was well prepared to resist the invaders, who would be soon wreaking havoc in Europe. In fact, there were rumors Byzantium knew a little too much about those invasions. With the respects of my master Theodosius. Nope, you haven't got the bill. That's not my way of running things. How about if I took me a few weeks' trip over to Byzantium, huh? <laughs> not so hasty. Why not head over to the east rather than the west? I hear they're rich over there and nearly defenseless. Over in Constantinople, Justinian had just been crowned emperor. And on the border, war broke out with Persia. The city walls were heavily reinforced. Justinian wanted to restore the empire's glory. Your Majesty, the people have rebelled and there's not much more we can do to withstand them. They've stormed the palace gates and our men won't but fire Justinian on them. But Justinian was no softy. Perhaps it's not the role of a woman to instill courage in cowards. You may flee, Caesar. As for me, I'm fond of the proverb, purple makes the best shroud. Your Majesty, one small suggestion. <laughs> What about General Belisarius? Let General Belisarius step forward. Your wish is my command, Majesty. Hey, wait for me. Charge! Forward, charge! No mercy! Justinian had elaborate plans. To achieve them, he negotiated peace with Persia. The final agreement was 2,000 pounds of gold per year, which had to come from somewhere. I sent two sacks for the Emperor's taxes. Come yeah. on, get, get the lead out. Put her there. Perfect. 500 ships set sail for Carthage, Italy, Corsica, Sardinia, and Spain under the command of General Belisarius. The Church of St. Sophia was rebuilt. While it's still in one piece, let's get in a word about its history. She's up to stay. <laughs> Salomon, you've met your match. She's up for good. Justinian built and built and built. His enormous structures would resist all sorts of attack for nearly a thousand years. His scholars also had their suggestions to make, but Empress Theodora had a tendency to disagree. But the major contribution of Justinian was his code, which would remain the basis for Western legislation. When Justinian died a few years later in 567, his people were worn out. His empire's thin veneer of grandeur and opulence began to crack. And then a child was born into poverty, Muhammad. During the second century before our time, the Parthians, an Iranian tribe, won their liberation from the successors of Alexander the Great. After that, it was Parthian arrows that held back the once mighty Romans. In 532, while Byzantium was fighting to consolidate its empire, the Persian throne was occupied by Khosrow I of the glorious Sassanid dynasty. Byzantium's high-priced peace treaty was appreciated by Khosrow, who turned his attention to the Huns and restored Darius the Great's eastern frontier. He also restored justice after Mazdak, a troublemaker, had convinced the people to share their goods and their wives. But when owners reclaimed their property, 
problems could occur. And now let's get down to more serious matters. The Byzantine War. In 590, with the help of the Byzantine Emperor, Morris, the young Khosrow II won back his throne. That same year, Muhammad turned 20, but at that point, who cared? That fat one there refuses to make his payment. Get back! Go on, grab it all Khosrow then. II, the modest fellow, thought of himself this way, an immortal man among the gods, an all-powerful god among men, he who rises with the sun and gives the night her eyes. Nevertheless, he made himself fabulously rich, oppressed his people, and even proclaimed holy war against Byzantium in the year 610. Khosrow, favorite of the gods, mastering king of all the people. To our servant, the imbecilic and infamous Heraclius, king of Byzantium, you claim to place your trusted god. Why then didn't he save any of my troops at Caesarea, Jerusalem, or Alexandria? <laughs> why not? And if I wanted to, just for good measure, why could I not destroy the complete city of Constantinople? And if I wanted, I could destroy all of the city of Constantinople. Ooh. People of Byzantium, I just made a grievous decision. I proclaim a holy war against Persia. 622, another war between the two empires, a war that would ruin both. Six twenty-two was also the year of the Hegira, but at that point, who cared? Khosrow was defeated. Feast your eyes on that gold. It's what you've always liked best. His own people put him to death. In six thirty, the emperor Heraclius himself brought the cross won back from Persia home to Jerusalem. Victory had sapped Byzantium's life force, although some matters, like the sex of angels, still aroused heated debate. Then the plague struck Persia, already destroyed by war. Amid the death and desolation caused by 100 years of war, a third element would soon appear. And the people had no choice but to bow to the new rules. Accept Islam, pay tribute, and you're safe. Or else. Ever since his boyhood, Mohammed had shown a serious streak. He often strayed from his caravan to meditate. During his many trips, he met Christian priests who taught him the scriptures. Bon voyage. Or Jewish tribes whose belief in one so God long. impressed him. Against the changing horizon, her glance comes tenderly as she seeks with her eyes he who calls. Her long, firm thighs are like marble columns. Hey! Let's get a close look. All set? Almost. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, <laughs> 
Just a minute, pal. Why drive your sheep right into mine? You myopic or something? Pay attention. Obviously, those sheep are mine. Hold it, hold it. But all those sheep are mine. That's impossible, and you know it. Mine even wear ribbons, and yours don't. Hey, one second, you. You a sheep thief by any small chance? Come now, come now. No, 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 no. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> Another one of them sheep wrestlers. Oh, yeah, step on over here. We'd better arrest them. Hold everything. Oh. <laughs> The presence of Mohammed, as well as his many caravaneers, has its effect on the bandits. These guys wanted to rob us by mixing their sheep with ours. It's pretty simple, the difference. All ours wear ribbons around their necks. I believe you. I'll write you on your way. Before Muhammad united the Islamic people under one faith, they worshipped many idols. Trees, springs, stars, and stones. In Mecca alone, there were over 350. Her glance comes tenderly as she seeks with her eyes. Oh, 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 he who calls her. Her long, firm thighs are like... by my protection. <laughs> I came to her at midnight, the hour when the flyer is a sumptuous array of pearls strung across the sky. Step right up, step right up, take a look. Finest salt meadow sheep. Better sheep you won't find in all of Arabia. <laughs> and she and appeared to be like the sun, the sun of the brilliant constellations of Saturn. And then, very well, very well, 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 well. Uh, wait, uh, <laughs> no. Like sun-ripe dates tumbling from bountiful clusters from on high, slim branches of palm trees, her hair black as night softly veiled. Such magic and grace the about this marriage of lake and hip later walking most wondrous. <laughs> She'll like that one. No sooner had and I crept inside, but struck dumb by her marvelous beauty, I stared bedazzled for fear she'd disappear. Yeah, but she stayed the slim the and enticing as a vanilla bee. Her legs were supple like and smooth as the bleak of screens of a spring. That. Shouldn't we buy some grain? Wait, do you see who's there? It's a deal. It's all yours. I need two more gold pieces. Hmm, another two. Well, forget it. I want my money back. Chief, I got a creep over here. What? What's that you say? You're going to pay no. up and quick or you'll have me to mess with. Look out behind you! <laughs> Come quick, the chief's been attacked! Grab those two over there. Love your brother as you love yourself. 
<laughs> We'd better start with this little wise guy, the moron. Other companions will have quickly. Come quickly. My last A good man has just been attacked. What? We've got to go and defend him. Follow me. I am the apostle of God, sent to help all men. Trust ye in God and in my mission, and you will dwell in paradise always. Abandon all your idols and convert to the faith. Say after me, Allah is the one God. Allah, Allah is, is the, the one, one God. God. And Muhammad is his prophet. And, and Muhammad, Muhammad is his prophet. revolt among the poor of the land. He would destroy our gods and impose a whole new religion. He claims he's a new prophet. Yeah, what about free trade? A man's honest day of work is what he's out to pilfer. I got an idea. And you'd be best to leave as quickly as possible. Leave quick, there's no time to lose. Yes, you two must leave. They might even be on their way now and they're very dangerous. The year is 622. Muhammad was forced to flee from Mecca. His flight, called the Hegira, marked year one of the Muslim era. It was in the city of Medina that he found refuge at last. And she appeared shy and To his uncomplicated people, veil. Muhammad would preach an uncomplicated faith. The world is a fruit, fresh and succulent. God will teach you how to savor it. And God said, remember me, and I will remember you. For each one of you, without exception, a place is waiting either in hell or in paradise. No, my friends. It's towards Mecca you're supposed to turn now. Halt! What kind of get-up is that? You better wash up. Uh, well, if you insist. Three times, don't forget.
Muhammad's enemies in Mecca haven't given up the chase. Forward, march! A veritable army of seasoned soldiers was sent to Medina to finish off Muhammad. But they didn't reckon with Medina's own men. Forward, charge! Come on, charge! For a long time, neither side was winning. Hey, wait for me! Wait for me! Up until that time, the Islamic cult was based on five precepts, faith in Allah, prayer, fasting, pilgrimage, and charity. Before long, there was a sixth commandment, holy war. Allah is great. Soldiers of God, all of paradise is yours. Whereas Muhammad's believers had once amounted to a handful, at his death in 632, there were 100,000. Before long, there would be millions. Their religion would shake the world. The power of Islam spread. The Byzantine Empire, weakened by a century of war, could do nothing to stop it. The same was true for the Persian Empire. Hey there, you! Hey! Populations crushed by taxes and sometimes persecuted for their beliefs often welcomed the invaders as heroes. In 649, Cyprus. 651, Tiflis in Armenia. 654, Rhodes. 674, the siege of Constantinople. Not that the attackers didn't have their problems. In 677, they had a minor setback. In 698, Carthage. In 711, they conquered North Africa. And in 715, they reached as far as Narbonne. By 717, all of Spain had fallen. In 720, Gaul. In 732, they prepared to attack Poitiers. Just one century after Muhammad's death, in spite of their defeat at Poitiers, the Muslims had conquered an astounding amount of territory, from India all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. It's been said that a man is brilliant if he can start with nothing, dream of greatness, and achieve his dream. If that statement is true, then Muhammad was a genius.